basically sunrise every day was 9 a.m. Sunset was 3 p.m. Nope. So <laughs> too much darkness. It was too much crazy. darkness. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of the year 2022. I'm one of your Ticket to Anywhere podcast hosts, Trizzy. And I'm Leah, LA in flight. We are two voices, two views, and two ways to adventure anywhere. Yes, and as our first podcast episode of this new year, we have a destination-focused one on... Finland! Heck yeah. AKA Funland, because I sure did have lots of <laughs> fun there. And I'm super excited to talk expenses, budgeting, all the excursion and activities that we did, and kind of just share the culture and traditions that um, Finland has. Because when I was doing all the research, man, this this country and culture was so new to me mm-hmm. that I felt like I've never read so much in my life. <laughs> you know? Dang, like you were back in school. I was back in school <laughs> just learning and when you're hungry to learn it kind of like yeah. catches you in that that zone. So well, it was a very under the radar destination for both of us and mm-hmm. I, it feels like in the travel community in general it's it's pretty under the radar and maybe possibly underrated. So yeah. I love that you went there and Very had the most amazing time. Right, yeah. Because I did mention it was to chase the Northern Lights. And the first thing people think about when they want to chase is Iceland. Mm-hmm. So I'm here, hopefully, to inspire you guys to go to Finland and check it out for yourself. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's some Scott's Cheap Flights deals going on for Finland. Yeah. Yep. And yep. best months to go again? Are... Um, it's usually if you want to catch the uh, Northern Lights, they say end of August until like April are mm-hmm. the best times. I went in November and some article said that's the worst time to go, but <laughs> I caught everything that I needed to catch, which was the lights, uh, husky sledding, feeding the reindeers, doing my saunas, so... Yeah. Um, one thing that I didn't really indulge in because I'm not a coffee drinker was <laughs> their coffee culture. And apparently the Finnish, they love their coffees. Like they'll drink it two to, two to three cups per day or something. Oof. All right. Moving ASAP. See yeah. y'all there. <laughs> but speaking of coffee, today's drink is um, your basic Starbucks drink. <laughs> But I needed something that was quick and I had some points there. So it is their holiday sugar cookie um, oat milk latte because you know I love my oat milk. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You yeah, I do milk. love my oat milk. I'm like bordering Gen Z, right? <laughs> and then you got your tea today? I got my tea, but unfortunately I didn't get it from Finland. I didn't get any tea from Finland. Uh, this tea is from Hawaii. <laughs> the complete opposite of Finland. <laughs> exactly. From the islands of Oahu. I got it at the Dole Plantation. There we go. <laughs> it's a mango peach green tea. Dude, sounds so refreshing right yeah, now. Yeah, so cheers to another fun episode, and hopefully I inspire you guys to check out Finland. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Missed flights? Travel tantrums at the gate? Lost in an airport? We want to hear your airline and airport stories from the funny to the glorious to the unfortunate ones to the thrilling tales. Since I, Leah, missed my connection flight from JFK to London in November, we've heard some anecdotes that actually didn't make missing the flight altogether that bad. If you're willing to share them, then we're willing to share and we know our audience will get a kick out of them. So go ahead and DM us on Instagram or Facebook at Ticket to Anywhere Podcast or send an email to Ticket to Anywhere Podcast at gmail.com by January 31st, 2022 to be featured on an upcoming episode. Hey there, it's Trizzy and Leah, your hosts for the Ticket to Anywhere Podcast. We created this travel podcast for you, who's just as obsessed with exploring the globe as we are. We each travel a different way and even have different work schedules. But every episode, we aim to widen your worldview, inspire you to consider a destination near or far, or learn from others. With us, you can adventure from anywhere. Keep in touch with us on social media at Ticket Number 2 Anywhere Podcast. Remember to connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Never miss an episode by subscribing to Ticket Number 2 Anywhere Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Pocket Casts. And hit subscribe to follow our visual podcast on YouTube to keep up to date on our channel. If you find value and enjoy our episodes and special guests, 
please rate us and leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. It means the world to us and helps others find us easier. You can also leave comments or reviews on our YouTube channel or Facebook page. Be sure to search for Ticket Number 2 Anywhere Podcast. Take a screenshot of the episode you're currently listening to, share it on your socials, and tag us. Or send this episode to a friend if you think it'll be helpful for them. And if you'd like to support us by monetary means, you can do so by buying us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash ticket number two anywhere. Okay, okay. Finland, okay. Finland episode. I'm so pumped to talk about this. It, yes. This trip was kind of like a booster shot for me of my travel bug. <laughs> it's a travel bug booster. Just because, you know, it was nothing we planned. Yeah ever finland was never on yeah. our list it was probably on the list but probably towards the bottom i would never consider honestly would never consider finland yeah so i love that you actually went and did it <laughs> same thing so the original idea the theme of 2021 was we got to find the northern lights we want okay. to see the aurora borealis mm -hmm. so originally we were going to go to alaska we had mm -hmm. our flights booked to Alaska, and we were like, okay, let's do domestic because it's not that much of a stress yeah. to fly domestic. Mm. Why we booked the flights and not check the hotels first or the igloo we wanted first, I don't know. Well, I think it's usually booking flights first. True. And then worry about accommodation later. But simultaneously, what we would do is like huh. make sure that the igloo we wanted was available. Yeah. That we didn't yeah. do. So we got super excited. We booked the flights first. And then noticed that the igloo in Alaska that we wanted to stay at was not available. Mm. And we were just like, womp womp, cancel, because we're not going to go to Alaska and not stay in an igloo and not be able to see yep. the Northern Lights. Mm -hmm. So we went down, you know, a list of pros and cons of three countries and we shared that travel reveal. Yes. It is on Video. our YouTube channel, yes. on our Instagram as well. And the options were, you know, Peru, Mexico City, and Finland. And why we decided Finland instead of Iceland or instead of um, northern Canada area oh. was just because you could see the northern lights up there as oh, well. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, we just wanted Finland because it's, it was just different. so unique to us. And mm -hmm. I don't know why it just slipped out of our mouths like, like it was nothing. Yeah. And, um, Why not? Yeah. And the flights were definitely cheaper than going to Iceland. And Were they? The flights mm. were more convenient timing and didn't have that much um, layovers. Like, okay. our flight coming back was direct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But with great. Iceland, it was just a lot of, like, layovers for us that just didn't work out. You're just like, no, I don't want to... Exactly. And during this time, it's better to not have a layover oh my god yeah <laughs> <laughs> um as you will hear about in my london episode yes. next week <laughs> mm -hmm. um but so finland the total amount that we paid per person was about three thousand dollars and we stayed about including travel days nine nights ten days okay so I think it wasn't that bad considering mm -hmm. how far Finland is, 3,000, yeah. and that is everything. That's flights, the stay in the igloo, mm -hmm. the two night stays in Helsinki, all the excursions, um, food, uh, public transportation, mm -hmm. um, transportation to and from the uh, Lapland area. Mm -hmm. So it's not too bad. Not too no, shabby no. at all. Well, and Finland is generally more expensive country anyway so mm -hmm. to that get doesn't to. sound too bad yeah exactly yeah. Mm -hmm. so our international flight so from lax to helsinki was about 700 dollars round trip pretty wow. cool mm -hmm. we had a layover in london but the the domestic flight from helsinki to ivalo which was northern lapland mm -hmm. That was like two hundred dollars per person, and I was like, "Damn!" And that was only an hour Crazy. flight. Crazy, yeah. yeah. I, was like, Ooh. <laughs> I remember when you said that. I was like, "Ouch!" <laughs> yeah, but you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, and the experience was phenomenal. Everything was worth it. Mm. Yeah, see, it's worth it, mm -hmm. right? Yes. The cool part of dealing with Finland in the researching 
was just everything was so new and you're figuring out yourself like none of our friends we could ask because none of them have been them been in finland yeah right so it it was really cool just like doing the stuff on your own and because you like read a pioneer more, yeah you read more <laughs> thoroughly about their culture mm-hmm. the history of it and so, you're maybe not influenced by others going there saying you have to go here you mm-hmm. have to go here right yeah yep. exactly mm-hmm. and i'm like oh back up i got it yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but at um at the end of the trip that's when I would ask the travel community, like, let me know if you have any more recommendations because next time if I want to go, mm-hmm. then, you know, I have other Absolutely. things to... I'll, I'll, I'll see it from their point of view and things like that. Mm-hmm. But we went in November and it was very cold. The highs in Sari Selka, which we stayed at mm. most of the time, was 20 degrees high Fahrenheit. Oh my gosh. And the lows, we did hit zero degrees Fahrenheit one night. I haven't been in weather that cold. I haven't been in weather that cold. <laughs> it was so piercing cold. And we, we bought, I traded my mosquito bites. Mosquito so bites. Her sorry. famous mosquito, mosquito bracelets. Mosquito repellent bracelets for hand warmers this trip. <laughs> Ain't no mozzies out there. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Ooh, but a uh, local told me that during the warmer weathers there's tons of mosquitoes oh out gosh there. So okay keep in mind that if you guys go in the yeah so maybe weather. bring the bracelet <laughs> to, to finland <laughs> the, the itinerary was um travel day one night in helsinki mm-hmm. and then we fly for about we fly to ivalo stay out in sari selka for about six nights seven days and then one more night in helsinki okay mm-hmm all right. So very jam packed. Yeah. But yeah. we got to see the Northern Lights, which is yes! so cool. And I was really worried because prior to the trip, I was, you know, checking the weather. Mm-hmm. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. Everything's cloudy. Jeez. And I was worried, but I feel like the energy that we, we put out is definitely what yeah. you're going to manifesting clear yes. skies. Yes. And so the last two nights was when they had clear skies. Like, oh, all of a sudden, great. it started changing the forecast. The locals were saying, like, you might have a chance. Like, you're smart for staying long. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Super So keep smart. in mind that you really have to stay multiple days. We met a few people out there who were only staying, like, three nights. Like... Yeah, and you're, like, banking on, like, oh, fingers mm, crossed. Right? It clears up. It's like... No. The weather is so unpredictable. So the f- one of the... F- the first of the s- two nights that the skies were clear... We barely saw the lights. Mm. So just mm-hmm. because there's clear skies does not mean that you're going to see Really? The what, do you know lights. what the reason, why, it's, it's, why that is? It's whatever the KP index indicates. And I think that just depends on like the magnetic forces oh. of like okay. the sun. And okay. it goes deep into science that I can't yeah. really <laughs> explain. But, but if you want to look at the amazing photos, make sure you are following mm. her on the gram. Oh, man. Yeah. I cannot. When I look Unreal. back, yeah. Unreal when I look pics. back on the photos, it's just tears that you've that I cried when I was there in real life. Yeah, like you just I can can't imagine. Believe that you just saw that, but nature is beautiful, y'all. <laughs> Please take care of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yes. Basically, we split up our two nights or two days in Helsinki okay. for obvious reasons because that was our main hub of getting back to LA. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is doable to do. Um, everything that you need to really see in Helsinki. In two days? Mm-hmm. Okay. In two days. But if you really want to take your time, I suggest more. Because there was one thing that I really wanted to do, and I could not do it. But what, that's okay. What was, the, what it, was, was it? It was another sauna. And, oh. I, and I pronounced sauna because that's... Oh, because she's, she's cause finished, I'm finished She's now. finished now. That's, that's the proper way to pronounce it. Do not say sauna. So I've been saying sauna. Sauna. Mm-hmm. So there was one sauna place that I really wanted to go to, and um, it was, they built like this outdoor deck where there was warm water. Say less. And (laughs) in this deck is like the outdoor pool of the Baltic Sea. What? So you could swim in it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! And then you could go inside and do the sauna, which is very popular Finnish tradition. Wow. Mm -hmm. That sounds incredible. It was incredible to see. I (laughs) wish I did it. (laughs) It 
But I Wait, did. Wait, why a, couldn't you do it? Um, we didn't. We didn't have the time. Oh, to the do time. It. Okay. Yeah, we did a different um mm. sauna, which I did dip into the Baltic Sea, but it was open water. It wasn't like a deck that was built out. Oh, so you. Could, so I was. <laughs> so you could just like float away yeah, exactly. in the ocean. Yeah, and it was at nighttime, and it was so scary. Oh, that sounds. Mm mm. Yeah, I don't but know I about that. But I did it because <laughs> I needed my Baltic Sea. Yes. Yes. But the other one I, I would have loved to do because they have a warm pool that is separate cool. than the Baltic Sea. So you have a pool that's just Baltic Sea, but you're safe because it's confined. Yeah. And then there's a different pool, which is the warm pool, which you would see a lot of people dipping into. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so if I go back, I would do that. And apparently there's a sauna in a Burger King there. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to know if this is true. It's true. Because, oh, that is true. Okay. Because Paul Rudd has done it. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks disgusting because you eat Why? your burger. Okay. Then... No, I don't want none of that. I don't even want to go into burger, normal Burger King. <laughs> That's true. Without sauna. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what but, did you do in Helsinki? So in on the sound on the sound offense, I did um this place called Loyly, but it's pronounced Loyly. Mm. Mm-hmm. You so, speak Finnish <laughs> too. <laughs> Loyly means vapor. Oh, so, okay. okay. Yeah. So that was the only sauna that I did in Helsinki, but in Sari Selka up in Lapland, mm-hmm. I did um, two more, two more saunas, which was one in Kilopa, which was probably my favorite one because. You, it was snowing that day. <gasps> that and it was cold. just snowfall. <laughs> yeah, and the the water was just like f- glacier water, basically. Freezing cold lake water. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you dip into there, and then you go into a sauna. And it was one of the, the more cheaper ones. Because okay. Because it was um, 11 euros, which was maybe about, like, what, $13 per person USD. Okay. I didn't know how expensive they would be, so good call on the context mm-hmm. because I was thinking I'm like how much are these places it really depends Lully is uh kind of like a luxury oh okay luxury sauna um they have a restaurant in there too oh, okay that was, that's really expensive you could uh tack on I think 60 bucks per person if you want to eat at this jeez yeah but it's really cool um that was about 25 dollars per person Wow, mm-hmm. that's double yeah, the other one. Exactly. And that's because you have two saunas and there's an option for a private sauna if you want to Oh, okay. You know, uh do like a party there or something. Mm-hmm. And of course they have like nice lockers you could use. Um and of course the the Baltic Sea. <laughs> <laughs> as much of the Baltic Sea yeah. as you want. And it's it's my first sauna wasn't the one in Helsinki. It was the one in Kilopa, which I was talking oh, about okay. with the snowfall. So mm-hmm. that was freezing cold. And then the next day, we did a sauna in the resort that we stayed at, which mm-hmm. was the Northern mm-hmm. Lights Village in Sariselka. They have different locations, so if you want to go to the one in Sariselka, make sure it's Sariselka and not uh, Levi or Levi. I don't mm-hmm. know how, how that's pronounced. But the one at the resort is private, so it's $100 for one hour, or 100 euros for one hour. Oof. Yeah, big difference. <laughs> yeah. So you get it to yourself, and it's basically a pool that they made, but that water is pretty cold as well. Wow. But their sauna was pretty cool. As um, There's a shower where you rinse off, of course, and then you have this big place to yourself. You get to, you know, lully the stones in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the saunas. I loved it. This is the type of recovery my body needed after yeah. flights, after the hiking that we did, uh, which I'll get into as well, uh-huh. and a lot of the, the walking in the city, and our boots that we used, mm. you know, we've used them before, but to the extent of using it every single day, our feet oh, was gosh, not really yeah. used to it. For sure. So my body definitely needed the contrast of hot cold therapy and i'm glad it was just there yeah and i love doing that even here i'll take cold showers at after my workout oh my gosh Mm -hmm. i know it's so good for you i just can't bring myself to do it it's good for the skin good for the hair for your like system Mm -hmm. like you know for sure 
So because I did um, Lapland's saunas first, when I dipped into the Baltic Sea the second time I was in Helsinki, the water was like nothing to me. What? Yeah. Oh, girl. I was like, I was scared dipping into it. And then when I dipped, I was just like, oh, this is it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You be- became progressively more mm-hmm. finished. Well, <laughs> I'm listening to all of it. <laughs> yeah, and if you're wondering like how the people are there, they are so nice, so welcoming. Oh, like that whole that's good. culture, the whole experience that I had, I really felt like I was welcomed. Like, you know, come back anytime. Like that's it was just great. a home, like a big home, and everybody was just like welcoming us. Mm-hmm. So a little background about Helsinki. It's an archipelago, oh, and that really? was the first time I ever seen an archipelago. Correct me if I'm wrong on other um countries that i've been to but this mm-hmm. was just so visible because on our way to suom and lena which is one of the islands and it was a, f- a fortress that once used to be sweden's oh wow and then it was russia's and then finland was just like <laughs> mine i saw these tiny little islands with homes and just like buildings like old school looking buildings okay. and I was like wow people live on these little on tiny, these tiny islands, islands. Like, yeah that's their land yeah one of my good friends she's from a little island in the in the middle of Norway oh, she and she so always cool. calls it her island oh, she's like my island she took a ferry imagine? to school every day growing up that's crazy yeah <laughs> It was, so we got um, an early ticket, early water ferry Mm -hmm. ticket to go to Suomalina. And there were like residents, you know, with their kids riding around, going on the ferry to Helsinki. So were there a lot of tourists on that one? Um, Not at that time because we went early. But as we were leaving, there was a lot more coming in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, yes, Suomalina is a unesco heritage Center. whoa yeah i love that check it that's super cool yeah are you um, actually keeping track of your unesco heritage i think that might be cities? my first i don't know <laughs> i'm sure it's not it's not your first yeah so i'm not keeping track yeah so. <laughs> you really get to go into the fortresses if you want to because mm-hmm. some parts are really scary <laughs> it's dark bring your own flashlight if you want mm-hmm. and then you determine how far you want to go into it but, um, yeah, we saw a cruise ship going past the fortresses and oh, wow. things like that. And honestly, like, we spent about three hours there. That includes photo op. That includes um, stopping for uh, food or, mm-hmm. like, finding food at the beginning and just reading about the history of the island. Three hours, I would say, is all you need. Okay. I would have loved to spend maybe, like, an, another hour there. But, of course, we had to, like, get back into the city, yeah, check yeah. out, and then... Um, uh, go to the airport. Uh, the ferry, the water ferry to Suomalina Molina um, is cheap. I think it was like 280 euros one way. Mm-hmm. But what we did was when we landed at the airport, we bought like a city pass. Oh, very mm-hmm. cool. So we bought uh, just a 24 hour pass and it was mm-hmm. 11 euros um, for the day, for the 24 hours. And it depends on the region that yeah. you want to hit up mm-hmm. to, so it could be more expensive. I think it will. The max would be like fifteen euros. So we use that, and that works for the water ferry. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah, public transport. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So so cheap, so reliable. Yeah. And it's based off of like trust too. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, like honor system. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you. Nobody really checked our tickets. Right. The, but if you get caught, time. you mm-hmm. get fined. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So don't try and get past the government, <laughs> y'all. It's better to pay a four euro or mm-hmm. four dollar ride than an eighty dollar ticket. Come on, that's like common sense. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Helsinki has a lot of uh, cathedrals that you could check out too. We went to this awesome. really cool park um, that had this dope sculpture and we saw it on TripAdvisor they're like okay you have to stop here it's like this it's called the Sibelius um, Park Monument Mm -hmm. and basically it's just like these pipes put together oh Mm -hmm. you would think so it's made uh, it was dedicated to uh, a famous music composer okay and you would think that he plays the organs but apparently he doesn't but it looks dope, so you could go in through the sculpture, look up, and you'll see like these like wide open skies and stuff like that. Very um, cool. Free, yeah. free to free, enter. Free cool. to enter. 
and it's close by this really cute cafe that's just down the street. Was it the one you're Instagram? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cafe Regatta. Yep. She's um, got it on her Instagram. Mm-hmm. Go Made check a cool it out. Reel about it. Yeah. The blueberry pie is really yummy, and the cinnamon bun Ooh. is really yummy. That's the two popular dish that they have there. Cafe Regatta. And it's cute because it's right next to, like, it sits along the Baltic Sea. Yes. Mm-hmm. Dang. Okay. <laughs> so Lapland is the one of the main cities that we stayed at. The region I stayed in was Sariselka. Um Hotel or the igloo, I like to call it, was at Northern Lights Village in Sariselka. Mm. And for that cost, we stayed six nights, seven days, um, and it was about 300 euros per night, which is about 340 USD. Mm -hmm. And that includes breakfast and dinner, um, but it does not include the excursions. Which was so fun, by the way. <laughs> um, the airport transfer is an additional $160. Um, but that was because we wanted a private shuttle. And that was $160 round trip. And it could not have been more smoother than anything I, I've booked. Mm-hmm. Like, private shuttles I've ever booked. The dude had my name on, like, a digital card when I landed in the airport. Like, on an, like iPad, on an yeah, iPad? On an iPad. <laughs> That's a digital card. Like, That's what you're paying know. for. <laughs> I know. I was like, ooh. Um, got us there safely. The The ground was very snowy, but mm-hmm. these Finnish people, they know how to drive. They were like passing up cars too. Stop. I was like, what? <laughs> but they have spikes on their tires. Oh, like, okay. Not even just chains. Not like just they chains. got straight up spikes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You gotta be safe out there. Yeah. Basically, sunrise every day was 9 a.m. Sunset was 3 p.m. Nope. <laughs> Too much darkness. It was too much crazy. darkness. Yeah. <laughs> what we did during our time in Sariselka is like we hiked. Um, I got to go to my first national park outside of the oh, U.S. I remember you mentioning that. Yeah. Are you sure that was your first national park outside of the U.S.? Well, yeah, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure. Girl, you're not counting <laughs> national parks or UNESCO World Heritage sites. I'm like, did someone get her a but, passport stamp book <laughs> so we can keep track of these I know, things. Right? I feel like that is though. Um, that that is my my first national park, and the national park is pronounced uh, Udo Kekosin uh, National wow. Park, and mm-hmm. it's in Sariselka Kilopa. It's huge, so it really like spans across different regions of sorry of uh, wow. Lapland. Mm-hmm. Kekosin is the Finnish pronunciation. Kekonen is the Swedish pronunciation. And when you're in Finland, you're going to notice a lot of these like different sounding uh, spelling just because the Swedish was there first, I believe. Yes, it was a Swedish word and then they had like a Finnish word as well. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Finnish, Finland got their independence back in like 1917, which is crazy because it's not so long ago. From Sweden? From Russia. So Okay, like, I'm so sorry. I don't <laughs> Thank you for coming in with the history. I know. So See, this is what happens when I'm like doing something completely new. Like I really know the history of it. You do. And yeah. you're educating me. I'm like, oh, they got their independence from Sweden. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Swedish, Russia, Finland. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so we hiked the national park in one of the days. We actually hiked it twice because mm-hmm. we didn't. <laughs> you you would. We would. Because one of the, we didn't know that there was an entrance walk in walking distance from our hotel. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's how huge the park was. So the first time we hiked it, we took a 15 minute uh, ride, taxi ride mm-hmm. to Kilopa, which was also where the sound, the first sound of place was. Mm-hmm. Um, they had an entry there and we snowshoed, which was... <laughs> How fun. Yeah, I know. This is it just gets better and better, right? <laughs> the snowshoe in Kilopa, um Suomen Latu, that's like the name of the place. You the snowshoe was like twenty euros for four hours. One of the cheaper rental places that we encountered. That doesn't sound expensive at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not at all. So we used it to snowshoe up the Kilopa Trail in Dude, the is National that Park. a workout? Is, does it, it? It sounds like you're like using all of your like actually, leg power. It made it easier. So okay, if you didn't yeah. have the snowshoe, it would have been more of a workout. But the snowshoeing like just helped. like cuts through exactly. Okay, I don't know what I'm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking of. <laughs> For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So that was one. And then on the second day, the entry that was walking distance from mm-hmm. our uh, hotel or our igloo was another area where it's called the Aurora Day Hut, which is one of the places that a lot of people go to. Okay. So that's that's a hike where you could oh. see a hut. And this hut is very modern. It's not like the old school huts that um, the Finnish people had made in the past out of reindeer skin. This oh, is gosh. like actual wood built with glass. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. these huts are more for, um, they have like a bonfire pit usually outside and you could cook sausage there like byo sausage Mm -hmm. byos (laughs) and watch the night sky if there's a northern lights above you then it is the perfect night so yeah huts are their thing and they make like these this bomb berry juice which i actually want to make oh yeah i remember you talking Mm -hmm. about it did you bring some back no no (laughs) dang Question Where's yourself? my berry Answer juice? Yourself. I know. <laughs> I could make some for you here. Okay, that's yeah, right. I, I asked them how to make it. Basically, it's a whole bunch of lingonberry, blueberry, raspberry, and then you put a little sugar on it, boil it. Ooh, Ta-da. easy. Mm-hmm. All right. It's so good. Okay. And, you know, at first now it was I know weird. what I'm getting for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the thought of it, the thought of hot berry juice was like, what? <laughs> What is hot berry juice? Hot berry juice. And then when you had it, especially in the cold that we were in. Oh, it's so nice, right? It was just right? so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. good. Sometimes it like burnt my lips. I was like, ah, it's too hot <laughs> it's Too <now."> hot. <laughs> a lot of people heard of Roviani Emmy as one of their main bigger regions of Lapland. Oh, they, okay. They tend to go there more because there's like an official Christmas Santa Claus village there. <gasps> yeah. That is so mm-hmm. cool. But Sari Selka had this... Santa Claus office or his home mm. that we got to see, but it's part of another resort that was nearby. Okay, which everybody would probably know. It's called a Coxlatinen, um igloo, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which we looked at first, but the reviews for us just wasn't cutting it. Yeah, it was a lot yeah, of yeah. like iffies, maybes. Yeah, but Sari Selka is definitely. Um, a place to put on your list when you're on when you're Mm -hmm. in finland roviani i can't speak much about it but do sorry selfie you'll fly into the ivalo airport ivl is the initial all right Mm -hmm. i love all that write that down y'all write that down (laughs) so other activities we did up in sorry selka was snowmobiling um yeah, husky. you have an awesome yeah. reel on that Shoot. on the gram. Yeah. Husky sledding, reindeer oh feeding. My God. Can you can you pet the huskies? Yes, they loved me and I loved them. They're Did so you nice. bring one home? No, no. girl. <laughs> we were trying to get no me leave leave no trace. Leave no leave trace. everything in its yeah. place. Mm-hmm. Even huskies. <laughs> <laughs> All these excursions minus the the snowshoeing. Um, was through our resort. Oh, great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it was a little bit pricier, but it's just uh, convenient for us to yes. book. Convenient. Not have to like research and like reach out yep. and things like that. But um, I think alone, ex- excursions in Sari Selka, we spent about like $500 per person. Well, how many did you do? Like um, four? Yeah. I mean, snowmobiling, husky sledding, chasing the northern lights, uh-huh. uh, the sauna. Uh-huh. And, yeah, those are the paid ones so far. That sounds about right mm-hmm. for Finland. Mm-hmm. 500 bucks per person. Bad. Yeah. We yeah. fed the reindeers, but that was free of charge. <laughs> Wait, like the food was free or the activity was free? Everything. <laughs> Everything was free. And we got hot berry juice at the hot end. Hot berry juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, reindeer is their their meat there yeah like in the national meat Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so lapland this is crazy one of the reindeer herders they told us this so they have to in lapland they have to cap reindeer population at two hundred thousand. Oh, oh why because the population of humans in lapland is one hundred eighty thousand. so you're not but like new zealand and scotland like have more sheep than they do people or something like that well that's the running joke oh okay why can't you have more reindeers than people it just be hard to sustain them all and uh-huh. kind of sustain and maintain. 
So, you but does know. Does that mean they kill them mm-hmm. off? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Sad. So that's why, you know. They can send them over here to California. Yeah. To LA. Hopefully we'll treat them to a nice. <laughs> but they really like, they're so passionate about everything that they do there. Like mm, the locals mm. that we spoke to, like staff workers, mm. they will dedicate their entire year just working. And some some of them we talked to didn't even care about like leaving hmm. Lapland. Hmm. Like they are so in love with their craft, which was one, one was a, a he took care of the Huskies oh, and he was oh, just like, there's cool no way I'm though. leaving them. And I was just Stop. like, oh my, my heart. I have oh a friend my named Leah who wants to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the other excursions we did was chasing the, the Northern Lights. You don't have to do this. But we figured maybe we do this because they will bring us out to a lake, which is darker. Okay. Less light pollution, even though there's not okay. a lot of light pollution. Right. Um, but it was just like, oh, cool. If we go out to the lake, I could probably get like a good lake reflection. Oh, all so right. So we paid $135 per person. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot. And keep in mind that if you are doing these type of excursions with the Northern Lights, like chasing them there may be a chance you don't get to yeah, see the lights yeah. and there's no refund. That's tough. Yeah, that is tough. <laughs> and that's what happened with us. Oh, bummer. We saw a little bit, though. We saw a little bit, which was fine. The The sky at that, at that night was a bit cloudy, mm-hmm. but during the day it was clear. Mm-hmm. So we were just, like, mm-hmm. hyped about it. But then the night came, a little bit of clouds came in. However, the KP index was high, but it was just cloudy. So the clouds hmm. were blocking... Oh, all the what a bummer! Lights. I know, right? Jeez. Yeah. So it's all good though because the final night that we we're there, girl, these lights started Ooh. dancing for us. Woo! It was insane. I remember after eating our last dinner, we walked to our um, igloo and we were trying to like gather all our stuff, all our freaking parkas that we had to put mm-hmm. on, and I look up. And you don't see the colors really with your naked eye until it's like really, really strong. Mm-hmm. So I saw something wow. kind of like grayish in the sky and I was just like, hmm, that could be a cloud or that could be the light. Mm-hmm. So I busted out my camera. Sure enough, it's light. the freaking light. So <gasps> we like hurried up, got oh dressed <laughs> and we were like taking photos like no other. We walked down to like more of a secluded area mm-hmm. where it was just like, wires or like telephone poles Mm -hmm. and lines so that was like because it was more open okay where our igloo was there was some trees in front of us kind of blocking because it was right now it was far in the distance so we saw when we went to like the telephone pole area it's just open field and wow we went back to defrost because it was freezing defrosted in our igloo a little bit and we saw that it was in front of our glass oh so that's when we started doing indoor photo shoots with the lights Mm -hmm. improv on the tripod that we had yeah and these pics look fire it was insane and then we walked back out because we were like dude if it's if it's looking like this inside inside yeah how does it look right above us yeah yeah that's when it really really just like freaking Beyonce, Adele, it (laughs) just gave us that finale. If you didn't know, probably her two favorite artists. (laughs) Do I have a choice, Leah? Do I have a choice? (laughs) But it it definitely was, you know, it brought tears to my eyes. Yeah, like a natural wonder. Like this is once in a lifetime, Mm -hmm. truly, I feel like. It was just like, you know, walking, you know, seeing... The Philippines for the first time in, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. Kayangan Lake. How beautiful that was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And same thing with Singapore. Same thing with, like, Thailand. Yeah. You know? Or, like, like, when I went, walked into the Great Hall at Harry Potter in London. <laughs> Outside of London for the first yeah. time, I started crying. What is it? Platform? <laughs> nine, nine and three quarters. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to be, like, three and a half. Three. <laughs> um, yeah, the feeling was just so crazy and, like... Unreal. That, yeah, like it's unreal. it's like we don't have anything like that out here in LA, mm-hmm. you know, and mm-hmm. so much light pollution. So it's di- it's so different. Yeah, where you, where you were exactly. You know? And it's funny because I remember my first time camping out in Joshua Tree. Mm-hmm. I thought that sky <laughs> was amazing. I mean, it is. It is. But it's like next but, level. In oh Finland. my gosh! Yeah. yeah, you don't believe it. Like until you're, you see it until you see yep. it. Yep. 
So it was funny because I told my nephews and they're like, I don't know if you guys watch Raising Dion on Netflix. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. So they had like a Northern Lights type of situation where if you get exposed to it, you get this radiation and you like disappear. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so they were like, like Raising Dion? Oh. <laughs> For all those who watch that show. Um, but yeah, that was the last night in Sorry Selka that we spent and it could not have been better. Yeah, it's like, a perfect way to top perfect, off exactly. top off that, that part of the trip. Mm-hmm. So seriously, the, the main thing about if you're chasing Northern Lights, stay as long as you can. I know it's hard to, Yeah, but that's the key. November, okay, so they say between end of August and April are the best times to oh, catch the Northern Lights. That's a long amount of time. It is. Yeah. But it's like eight months. Mm-hmm. And the hard part, the hard part about the researching, I try to say like, I try to type in how are the Northern Lights in November um, in Lapland. Right. And nothing. I probably got two articles saying that's the worst time oh. to go catch it. And my heart shattered. I was like, oh no. Yeah. You're like, mm-hmm. Oh, no. So, but you can't, you know. You just never know because weather is very unpredictable. Yeah. My experience, yeah. if you guys are considering going in November, just do it, mm-hmm. but just give yourself like a good amount yeah. of time. So I would have never known that, that mm-hmm. you need to be there for multiple days mm-hmm. in order to, because yeah. cause what if you don't see them? Exactly. So super smart. Yeah. Hot Especially tip. during the weathers where it's, uh, the time when it's snowing, try and extend it as mm-hmm. long as you can. I think September is one of the months where it's, clear Mm -hmm. it's still kind of like warmish and you'll be able to there's more chances of seeing that september and i believe they mentioned march okay Mm -hmm. all right all right the the really awesome thing about finland in general is that it's a cashless economy and yes we love a cashless economy mm -hmm. i haven't (laughs) done that in so long so i brought a whole bunch of cash with me (laughs) like too much cash (laughs) too much yeah like she checked the box did you bring over ten thousand oh, dollars when I'm getting? <laughs> Imagine if I did that. No, I I was just worried. You know, um, I'm just so used to Southeast Asia. Yes, you know. Well, the same. I'm used to South America, mm-hmm. Latin America, cash economy only, cash yeah. economy only. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so I didn't even bust out my credit card. I just used my Apple Wallet. Because they accepted oh, that okay. too. okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. And of it's course. just like crazy. I was just like, what? London was literally the exact same. Mm, we'll get into it. that in my episode, but exact same. Love it. Love it mm-hmm. so much. You know how you were saying one of your tips is to not leave your money in the same spot. Yeah. So, really, mm-hmm. so I was spreading it out. But when I got back, I was like, where did I, where did I put it? I was like, that I does I always money? scare me when yeah. I put my money in different spots. So I'm like, oh, shoot, where is it? <laughs> I was like, damn, where did I put it? <laughs> So, luckily, I counted, so I got everything back. <laughs> it would have just fallen out of your sock in a few months. Imagine. <laughs> or the laundry. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, obviously, we had to come back to the U.S., mm. and the U.S. had a restriction that we had to provide a um, negative COVID test, um, regardless of your vaccination status, right? Yes. Yep. Regardless. Yep. Regardless. So... Mm-hmm. We had to, luckily, Finnair, which was the, the flight that we were flying with most of the time, mm-hmm. they had a headquarters because, mm-hmm. um, yeah, they had a headquarters just 10 minutes outside of the airport, and we did it the morning of... At their headquarters. Leaving, at the headquarters. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. So we stayed in the Helsinki City Center, and it was about 40-minute bus ride or train Dang, ride. Dang, that's I know. far. Exactly. So that's like one of the annoying things that we really have to consider when we're traveling now is to schedule and to really yep. squeeze in the time to take that test. Did you pay anything for it? Yes, 65 euros. Yeah, that's the same. it's expensive. Mm-hmm. So you got to budget that in as Definitely. well. Definitely, yeah. yeah. But it was fast because it was a two-hour um, turnaround. Turn yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. The process mm-hmm. was easy. Finding the headquarters was easy. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, girl. But the testing was the worst experience. <gasps> really? Ever. Yeah. What they, happened? They warned us, too. The nurse, she was really nice about it. But she was just like, just to let you know, we do it differently here. We what? really go deep. Girl, they're trying to pull the brain out the mm-hmm. nose. They definitely tapped something back there. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> I was rewired. I was like, whoa. 
Rewired. Rewired. Man. What'd you do up there? Yeah. <laughs> Dang. It was so deep. Were you like crying? Were you like I, tears? I came out. My eyes were red. It was no tears, but my nose was just dripping for like 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They really did a number on me. Mm-hmm. All right. But they're making sure that nobody. Yeah. Is COVID sick. is not hiding back mm-hmm. there. <laughs> yeah. So it was an antigen test. And Girl, I don't know the difference. We don't know the difference. <laughs> So that's that. Like everything was very prior to me researching, I did have a lot of anxiety because mm. one, mm. I did not know what to expect. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if the information I was getting was correct. Um mm-hmm. a lot of the sites that I was looking on, you have to switch it. You have to find the button to switch it to English. The translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Mhm. And there was a lot of like, do we want to go to Roviani Emmy? Do we want to squeeze in time there? But we were like, no, because yeah. we just just stay in one spot for as long as you can. Slow. You mean slow traveling? Is she becoming me? <laughs> <laughs> Did I just slow travel? Yes, it's the best though. You it like is. really yeah. get to know a place. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Especially if the main one of the main goals is to you know see the lights. See the or lights. Something. Yep. Yeah, but 100%. my other thing was just to try out the saunas and like the ice swimming mm-hmm. and everything. I really wanted to do and that. The berry juice and the huskies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. So yeah, Finland. If anybody is out there listening to me, just know I am finished with you. Like I'm, I'm finished with you. <laughs> Not American finish. <laughs> I am a part of you. I love your culture. I love the country. I know. And You've just been raving about it since you got back. And I'm so glad that yeah. you had the best time. I know. I don't know what I did to deserve that type of trip, but everything just fell into place. And, um, oh my gosh, there's boba too. So all you Asians. Yeah. <laughs> did you see any Asians in Finland? I saw a few. Well, the ones, besides the ones at the boba place. <laughs> That yes, yes. There was one. There was one who was staying with us at um, the sorry. But were they Finnish? No, they were. They were from London. Actually, that doesn't count. That <laughs> doesn't count. No, no. We didn't bump into Asian Finnish people. That would. But were the crazy the people at the bow place? Were they Asian or no? Oh yeah, yeah. They were okay, Asian. okay, okay. <laughs> oh wait, we also had Vietnamese food there. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. How was it? It was actually pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because the owner was uh, Vietnamese. Mm-hmm. Immigrants, right? So it right? wasn't like a Finnish, like a, a white person yeah. trying to make Vietnamese food there. Yeah. yeah and yeah. they had it in um, Market Square, which is a really cool food Nice. Hall. Nice. It was really small. I thought it was bigger, but um, it was small. It was right next to the water ferry. So if you're going to Sumo Molina, make a lunch trip what out did, of that. Really quickly, what did you think of Finnish food? Like all the rest of the foods? Ooh. That's a good one. So reindeer I tried, just a sliver. Like reindeer jerky? It was reindeer, <laughs> it was a like a prime rib looking reindeer. Oh goodness. Ooh, yeah. how was that? I couldn't because the next morning we were going to feed the reindeers and I was like, oh, I Oh my can't. gosh, are you becoming vegan? I know. <laughs> I mean, you Maybe. eat you eat pretty vegetarian At these home. days. Yeah. yeah. Lately, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but they had this really Wait, so yummy... you bought the steak and No, didn't it was eat... actually part of um, the breakfast and dinner comes with the hotel Oh, okay. I was like, girl, you did not just waste money. I know, right? No, I <laughs> couldn't have done that. My frugality <laughs> side. So breakfast and dinner comes with the hotel we stayed at, the Igloo. Um, so it was, they had reindeer for, wow, interesting for dinner. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I tried it there and yeah, I just couldn't one, one slice, one bite of that slice. I was like, mm, no, doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel mm. right. And uh, yeah, I don't think I was even mindful about how it tasted. So I can't tell you. Oh yeah. You were just thinking the whole time that like, wait, I'm like, let me just get tomorrow. through. Yeah. Mm, let yeah. me just get through this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, like we had this really yummy, um, breakfast pastry okay i think it's like a carolina pie i might be butchering the name but i'll put the correction up here Mm -hmm. we thought it was just like eat as is but what you're supposed to do is get a hard-boiled egg mash it up with butter and then top it on top of it oh that's and it was bomb. bomb it was bomb with the eggs and without the eggs it's like a it's a rice porridge in the middle and then the 
the outer shell of it is like barley. Oh, it's like a grain. Interesting. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. We looked it up because we were like, "This is so good. I wonder if we can make it." Yeah, definitely not gonna make it. <laughs> but it was it was bomb. So I think besides that and the hot berry juice, what other finished food did I try? I don't think I I dealt I dived into too much finished food. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. It's whatever they were offering mostly at the um the resort okay yeah Mm -hmm. that's my my time in finland and honestly i would have stayed longer if i had to that's awesome yeah i love that you loved it so much it was perfect so (laughs) thank you to everybody who listened to this episode and hopefully i inspired you to go next trip to finland yeah exactly and remember if you're going in the warmer weather bring the bug bracelets yes Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm about to look up some Scott's cheap flights there now. Ooh, now you've yes. inspired me to yeah. go. Nine nights, ten days, including travel. But if you guys really can make it out there and you're chasing specifically for the Northern Lights, try and extend as much as you can. And do not rely on the weather app. Just pray, have good energy when you're out there, and hopefully you'll get the experience that I had there because everything fell into place perfectly. Mm-hmm. Thank you for joining us on another episode of the Ticket to Anywhere podcast. Don't forget to connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. If you love travel as much as we do, hit subscribe on our YouTube channel as well as anywhere you listen to podcasts such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Pocket Cast. Thank you all for your support so far. When you have the time, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. We love to hear your thoughts and feedback and it'll help others come across our episodes and hopefully be inspired to travel and adventure anywhere.